Hey guys, it's Jen, and I'm here to share with you um, the Scraptastic Darlene kit. Uh, this is the April 2000, or the Mar May, <laughs> no, April, April 2015 kit. I did not get the add-on, I just got the main kit. Um, this is actually going to be my last kit with Scraptastic. I've decided to stop kit clubs for just a little bit. I might sign up with Hip Kit in a few months, but... I need a, a little break to kind of work through some of the stuff that I have and so I have decided to cancel that subscription. So this will be my last Scraptastic kit for a little while, but I am super excited to work with it. It's really cute. I'll show you the papers first and let's see, let's work our way from the back. So it always comes with three sheets of cardstock, so we have this nice pink like a light pink cardstock and it is ballerina pink and these are um, my this one is my colors cardstock which is I think my mind's eye is who started doing these and then we have this kind of like I don't know if you're gonna be able to really tell but it's kind of like a shimmery um, vanilla color and it is called Irish cream it's very fitting same my colors cardstock and then this one is black magic and this one has got a light texture to it so three cardstocks and then we have so this is just the paper or the cardboard that comes in each kit to make sure that your paper stay nice and straight so then we have the this is from my mind's eye on trend um, this is a pretty, pretty, I actually bought this paper already, so I have two of it. So what I do in that case is, um, I just put both of them in the kit and then I don't feel bad about using the back side because this paper especially is one of those papers where I love both sides. So this side is this pretty script with gold foiling and then the back side is this awesome like light pink, corally pink bold stripe and so I will... I love both sides, and so I'm glad I have an extra sheet of that. This paper is Simple Stories from the I Am Collection. So it's got a nice bold stripe, black and, black and cream on one side, and then it's got this gold foil heart. And then the other side is a nice polka dot. So I love both sides of this paper too, so I could see myself using like a, a block of this so I can get that gold heart, and then also using the reverse for some other projects. I'm loving all the gold. I can't get enough gold. Some people might be sick of it, but not me. So this is also from My Mind's Eye on Trend, and it's just a gold foil polka dot, and the back is this really pretty, very subtle ombre. It goes from just a really light sea foam color to just almost white down at the bottom so I hope you can see that really pretty I think I have another sheet of this too which makes me happy this is from Allison Kreft hashtag happy the paper is called classy um it's from Webster's pages and it's kind of so this isn't gold but the way that they've colored it makes it look like it's reflective like gold so it goes along well with these. I love both sides of this paper as well, but this side I love more. It's just pretty. Kind of a herringbone design. I don't know. I love both sides of that. This is a Scraptastic exclusive, and it is called Dot. And it's got this light, corally pink chevron on one side. Let's see if you can see that at all. I don't know if that helps or not. I can't see my camera very well. Um, and then the other side is a really bold polka dot. So I could see the bold polka dot going well with some of the papers, but this really matches more of the feel of the kit to me. And I love the light colors. Then we have this floor. It's, this paper is called Floral. It's also a Scraptastic exclusive. And this is kind of like a stair step or a cube kind of background. It's hexagons laid over each other, so it kind of gives that stair step effect. Um, and it's a light pink with a darker pink line. And then this side is uh, an aqua floral. I I love this side more, but I like both sides of that one too. So those are the papers. I'm gonna squish them together a little bit more. 
and we get this is the Scraptastic exclusive cut apart and they're just labels so I think these will be they're really nice to cut apart but I also think it could kind of be cute as like a border tucked in or something. I don't know. I could see using the whole strip at once, maybe. We'll see. And then these awesome thickers are imprint. I have these with the black and gold. This is cream and gold. It's a really yellow cream. Um, I think they're really pretty. And I love this font so much. And there's just one number, which for me is good. I mean, like one of each number. Sometimes there's too many numbers. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. Um... We get a whole package of Simple Stories I Am Bits and Pieces, and they look like this. I'm not going to open them and go through them, but I will admit to you that I already opened them and went through them. They're really cute, and they do have gold foil on a bunch of the pieces, so they, I'm excited to use those. I'm going to keep that zoomed for a second. So, let's go through here. So, for ordering two kits in a row, you always get a free gift. This is the free gift this time. It's a stencil. Last time we got a stencil as well. This is three little feathers. I don't know if you can see that super well. I, I don't know what'll be easier for you to see it on, but there it is. Um, these are, I think from Jen Hadfield and Pebbles, um, paper clips. They're really large with little banners on them and they like have kind of a it's not paper, it's kind of a plasticky texture. I'm trying to think of what product I could compare it to. But anyway, it's kind of a plasticky texture. And so this is gold foil stripes, this is a silver glitter, and then a blue. And I, I'm guessing that everyone gets a different variety since we just are getting a partial package. And then we get three vellum arrows. These are Scraptastic exclusive as well. They're just die cut arrows. This one's like a gold, shimmery gold vellum. And then a teal and a pink. I'll lay those down so you can... They're not super, like the gold one isn't super see-through, but you can definitely see through the teal one. And maybe the pink one if it were on a different background, but. And then you get three acrylic arrows as well. These are super cute. So we've got a cream, like a clear aqua, and then a bright teal color. And they match the same designs as these arrows. And then we get some exclusive wood veneer. There's kind of three medallion or doily shapes. So those are really cute alone, but I kind of think they'd be fun layered up too if you wanted to create a statement piece and each one could be a different color. I don't know, maybe it's too busy. But those are fun. They'd be nice for layering and tucking, maybe. And then the flare, which I always love. We have an arrow. Some glasses and this little thing says fly away with a feather so they're kind of a feather a bit of a feather theme going on and I have some feather wood veneer from a previous kit that I'm going to add to this kit then we also have some exclusive die cuts this one says I am with an arrow This one's a big tab with hearts in it. That'd be cute to fill with different patterns or let different patterns show through it. This one says, hello, dot, dot, dot. And then I went ahead and cut the printables, like the print and cut files. So I just printed them out on my um, printer and then cut them with my silhouette. I do have a tutorial on my channel about that. So you can... Um, it's under the tutorials playlist, so check that out if you're unsure of how to do that. Take chances, yes to this, labels, that one has a little feather, my story, here and now, dream big, I don't know if I'm showing those very well, I'm sorry, big news, 
listen to this. I think these are adorable and they really kind of stretch your kit. I love these big packages of die cuts and then sometimes when they don't give you a package of die cuts like this, these um, printables really help to stretch the kit. So I would suggest taking advantage of that. Even if you don't have a silhouette to cut them out, you can always hand cut them. So just get them printed. You can even have them sent to like um, staples or something like that to get printed on a nicer paper. But I just print on um, Epson matte photo paper. But anyway, best friends right now. This is me. Whoa. And there's always like one three by four card, which is great for journaling. So those are super cute. So that is the Darlene kit. And then also this was my 12th month with the kit. And so after, after you've subscribed for a year or if, you, or if you've gotten 12 kits in a row, they give you um, in-store like product credit in the amount of a kit. And so I also got a haul. So I'm going to go ahead and get this just moved aside. And I want to show you what I got in my haul really quick. Okay, sorry. I'm not gonna stop the video, so <laughs> bear with me, please. I'm sorry. Okay. I got a lot of paper mostly, but I did get a few other things. So, let me show you the other things first. So, I got this um, Maggie Holmes. Let me make sure this is focused. Um, this Maggie Holmes accent sticker sheet from her new line and I can't remember what it's called all of a sudden it's like celebrate or birthday or I can't remember but it's really really super cute and it's not super birthday -y. it has the words happy birthday and and a couple of party hats but the rest of it is super usable for anything and I do actually have some birthday photos from my husband's birthday that we did a whole bunch of fun stuff that day so I can actually use the birthday stuff so that's awesome um, these are also from that same line. They're puffy stickers, and they're like a cream with a soft gold on top. They're really pretty. I hope you can see that. I also got the thickers from that line. Okay, can I just say, I love letter thickers, but these are awesome because it has words, like large words that you can use. This is, like, this is my favorite kind of pack of thickers. It's called Celebrate printed chipboard. Again, this is meant for birthday-ish stuff, but it only really has one thing that says birthday. The rest of it can be used for so many other things. So I just love it. Super, 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 super cute. I can't wait to use these. Um, I got the sticker sheet from Simple Stories I Am Collection. These are just the fundamental cardstock stickers. So it has some borders and some labels and a bunch of different things. These are really cute. I've been seeing a lot of people playing with this collection and I just think it's adorable. Oh, the Maggie Holmes collection is called Confetti. And I know that because I got a bunch of paper. So this one is called Occasion. And I just love this kind of medallion, this gold medallion design. The back is okay, but no, I bought it for this side. Super, super cute. Um, this one is from the Webster's Pages... Megan and Megan Hepner collection. It's called Daily Essentials Grid. I just think this is so pretty. And I went to Arizona recently, and so I have some pictures that I just think that this paper fits the feel of. And the back is just a nice grid, so that's good too. I got a few pieces of the Simple Story Say Cheese 2 line because I have a ton of Disney photos and I don't really scrapbook themey, but I wanted to get a few pieces that I could include that had more of a themed nod. And so this one's called Never Grow Up and it has the word magic gold, um, gold foil on it and the stars, some of the stars are as well. And then the back is just this pattern, but I bought it for this side. And then this one is called I'm All Ears, and so it has a half of Mickey Mouse ear, and then the back has red polka dots, so I love both sides of that one. This one I super, super love. I have the perfect picture for this. This is from the Simple Stories Enchanted collection. It's called Charming, and it just, it looks like a newspaper, but this is from their collection that's about the princesses more, and it says Mirror Mirror on it, and I just have the perfect photo for that, so excited about that. 
This paper is from the Pink Paisley Bella Rouge. It's called Diamond. I don't care about the diamond side, but I love this soft white wood grain. It's really, really cute. Um, I got a couple of papers from the Amy Tangerine Rise and Shine collection. And this side I love. It's called Lana. And this is black words with kind of a um, aqua wash on it. And then the back is just stripes. So I love both sides of that. And I love the branding strip. Very, very cute. This is from the Rise and Shine collection as well. It's called Chloe. I love a good wood grain. I also love the grid. So that's great. Both sides. Same collection. This is called Ella. Some bright, um, it's bright yellow with hearts on it. And these are all kind of a watercolory wash, so it's not a solid color. And then the back has these gray stripes. I love this side. This side is cute too, so we'll see. And then this is also from the Rise and Shine collection called Samantha. This side is not my style at all, but I really love this side. So those are all of the things that I got in my Scraptastic haul. Like I said, I've I've quit my subscri my subscription to Scraptastic for now, and I am going to take a month or two off of Kit Clubs to kind of get caught up and use some of the stuff that I have. Um, I still have my Felicity Jane kits that I'll be getting, so and I'm going to show you that kit next, so watch for another video on my my April Felicity Jane kit, but I am taking a break from Scraptastic kits for now. So um, I hope that you enjoyed and thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another kit share. Thanks. Bye-bye.